Okay. And thereby distracts her in some way that is very ordinary, some very ordinary distraction, right? Some ordinary distraction, something takes her attention that is obviously okay. very important. And so the entire, entire issue is dropped and disciplining her soon-to-be daughter is no longer the top priority. Of course. So this is a, what I call uh, our first conflict. And uh, the ritual phrase is, uh, what were you trying to get? Because uh, like my character, the Atophilia, sitting at the tea party, asking you, Nappy, what were you trying to get? Oh, that's very easy, uh, what I was trying to get. Yes, yes. I was yes, trying to get this the... distraction so that this, this uh, woman who is suddenly taken with the need to establish her mother status or her parent status is has another thing that is obviously much more important in the moment and the need to reinforce a disciplinary relationship is not as strong okay so it's, that's it's fine a, by me a complete distraction away from this situation now of course since she has just of been course. shot in the bottom katie fine will hopefully remember this amusingly of course so we try to resolve this and uh, we resolve by drinking tea so katie you drink if you are feeling protected okay katie kind of suppresses a giggle when it happens and Things don't feel so huge as they seemed before. Okay. okay. So maybe sometimes adults just are angrier than they should be. Okay, so uh, now it's my turn to drink because uh, Katie drinks a uh, drink. Uh, if uh, she hasn't, of course, there's the other way around. But... Uh, uh, I drink if uh, I think the discomfort has left his mark in the scene. I think uh, it has in a kind of way, so I drink. And uh, uh, basically the, the lady uh, screams uh, a bit all, and uh, he, he grabs his, his, uh, his butt and uh, uh, she screams uh, Abby, I got stung in a bee in, a, in this house, and um, she she yells to the maid uh, before storming out. Uh, your uh, your craft is not good at all. Uh, oh, I didn't mean quite to blame the maid, but I guess some someone has to pay the price. It might as well be an older person. Okay. Okay. So, for this conclusion, uh, Nappy was successful in protecting Katie. Uh, so, the scenes uh, will, um, will uh, resolve in a nonetheless. So, together, we write uh, something uh, that uh, uh, stays in, uh, in Katie's memory, uh, like a lection, uh, like a lection, uh, lection no, or a uh, um, an example of, uh, of something that Katie uh, will uh, on, of something will uh, will that uh, will be part of Katie from now on. So uh, I like uh, I like the um, the suggestion uh, Alex um, did earlier. Uh, so maybe Katie convinced herself that uh, adults are um, often angry without uh, no good reason. I think that's a little bit general. I think the lesson may be more specific. Okay. Um, although the general reality probably matters to Katie too, but the fact is, is that life with new mama 
may not be all that easy. Okay, since is, this is uh, something... Uh, the uh, new Kimber mama is a little bit not quite to be... Ex uh, not quite to be trusted to be on Katie's side. Okay, since uh, since this is uh, like a true, Katie will carry with her uh, uh, in uh, her grown and growing up. Uh, I liked uh, to uh, rephrase it uh, like a little bit, and maybe it could be uh, that. Uh, uh, people uh, that are, the people that uh, are not uh, bonded by blood with you uh, doesn't uh, aren't uh, easy are your kin uh, as your kin maybe i had not really in, in i had not really conceived it in those terms but if you want to i guess i was thinking more in terms of this specific woman and adults in general like alexandra said I don't think that the relationship issue was on my mind. No, no, it's okay. We can, okay, we can go specific. I think it's uh, probably adults that aren't your mom, your real mom. Uh, <laughs> Whoever <thinking>. she is. <laughs> don't think about you because it, it wasn't about katie that scene right so yes. your mom doesn't really care about me it was about the dress yes and the as soon as there was something more important the dress can, uh, the house the house right okay so nonetheless people that are not your real uh, mom yeah, about. Okay. Okay, and then advanced to level five, our profit. So uh, now we play the interlude, and how how it is work. Uh, we have we are in the tea party, so we are sitting at the table just like us, and. Um, uh, uh, Nappy uh, has to open the discussion by asking uh, what happened is good for Katie. And uh, we discuss this uh, as a, our character. And um, basically, we can uh, interact with the environment, we can change it, but uh, uh, this, uh, this interlude is uh, really about this question. Uh, Ron, when uh, are you feeling uh, this, uh, that we have a quest, uh, we have an answer that uh, suits you? Oh, we, yes, of course. Nappy is we, quite we certain. Nappy is quite certain of this. And that is how Katie learned that she had to watch out for everybody in her new life. This is, if it was not for this, Katie would have been, uh, she would have been uh, helpless when people blamed her for things, she would have been uh, too trusting. She would have not realized that her new life, and here he gets very tall, it says, she would not realize that her real life is war. Okay, and um, uh, now we are as, as Ophelia. Um, let me ask you ask one question, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Nappy, and uh, have you won many battles by trusting no one? Finding those you can trust is a lifelong task. Indeed. And when, and when you find them, and he looks proudly around the table at all of his fellow toys, when you have found them, the battle is won for certain. I think it's good she learned that sometimes you have to not care what others think about you. 
you can control them. That's right. Okay. And uh, before we close, we could also say how the environment of the Tea Party uh, is changed in relation to the previous scene. I think all the leaves in the, on the ground uh, are now brown and uh, all exactly the same as the one leaf is, uh, was on the scene. And also you can, um, in, in the distance, you can listen to an hum, zzz, like bees. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So next scene will uh, swap roles. So Ron will play as Shadow. Ooh. Alex will play as Friend. And I will be Katie. Okay. So before we continue, uh, let me explain two things about uh, uh, the, the procedures. First, how to call a conflict. Uh, you, everyone, could call a, can call a conflict uh, in the game. Uh, it's okay to ask to play a little bit longer before uh, do, do the drinking thing. And you can call a conflict uh, in, in three, in three occasions, basically. Uh, when a character uh, acts as a protector, uh, like uh, Napid uh, does, uh, did before. When uh, a character uh, acts like a, a mentor, so maybe one friend can uh, talk to Kitty in the scene and uh, push her to do what's try to uh, overcome the distress. Or uh, lastly, when a character acts, uh, acts uh, as a lens, so basically, uh, uh, they provide a different vision of what's going on. So they, they shed some light over the discomfort and uh, they make, uh, make that go, go away uh, through Kitty's eyes, basically. And uh, so when uh, you feel uh, one of these three things uh, will occur, you can uh, say where uh, what you try to get. And uh, then uh, we, we set a goal and we drink. And the last thing is, uh, um, we, I, we, we play scenes of the past and we, uh, we are not bound to a chronological order. Uh, and uh, and so we can uh, overwrite, uh, I mean, the, what's, uh, what we played in the scene of the past is not necessarily true in, a, in a, um, the following scene. But all uh, that uh, all the things that are written in the index card are true. So uh, this nonetheless now is true, and uh, of course all, all the source, source of discomfort are true as well. Uh, if we erase some source of discomfort, that could happen. Or if you if we add more nonetheless, uh, those will be true regardless in the scene. So let's go to the next scene. Uh, we have to choose a source of discomfort. And uh, I think I go with the whispers behind her back. So the player okay. of the toy now sets the scene, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I think, we... I think we're at school and it's some kind of break. Um, so Sophia is in Katie's bag, and she's, you can just see her little head popping out. Um, and everybody's having something to eat. Um, 